Hi, I'm Philip Armstrong from Optimize Lab, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about single keyword ad groups or the SCAG structure for Google Ads campaigns. I'm going to be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of this structure, and I'm also going to show you a very quick and easy process for getting the SCAG structure set up for your campaigns so that you can reap the benefits of this structure. So keep watching. So to start off with, what is the SCAG structure? Well, as the name suggests, it is a structure where each keyword has its own ad group. So sing each single keyword has its own ad group and therefore has its own ads associated with that keyword. Um, so this account is using the SCAG structure. So this keyword, for example, is money investment. The match type is broad match modified. So we click on this ad group. We can see that this keyword has um, this ad group has one keyword in it. Uh, if we go back, we can see there's another um, keyword, UK Investments, broad match modified again. So we click on this, we can see again, UK Investments, one keyword in there. And then the exact match version of that keyword will be in, a, in another ad group. So you're not mixing any keywords, even if they're different, the same keyword with a different match type in the same ad group. And that is the whole um, logic behind the single keyword ad group structure. Now, the question is, what's the advantage of this? Well, this structure is very, very simple to set up because there's no time used for organizing keywords together based on relevance or based on performance or any other factors. You're really just creating one ad, gr one ad group per keyword. It's very simple to do. Um, and another benefit, of course, to the structure is that you can make the ad copy specific to that keyword. You can even include the keyword within the ad copy. So all of the ads are going to be relevant to that specific keyword. Whereas if you had many keywords in that ad group, now you have to cater that ad copy to all of the keywords and it may be catered more to some of the keywords than some of the other keywords. So this structure can help to improve your click through rates, improve your ad relevance because the ads are exactly uh, related to that keyword and therefore that can help improve your quality score and can improve the performance of your campaign. So that's the reason to use it. Um, and it can be a good structure to use for people who are new to using Google Ads because of the fact that it's so easy to set up. Um, however, the disadvantages to using this structure is that, as you can see from this account, there can be quite a lot of different ad groups. You can have very many ad groups. Um, some of those keywords, which have their own ad group using this structure, may not get a high volume of impressions and clicks. So you could end up with many ad groups, which are not generating a high volume of data. Um, and that's not always the best way to structure your account because it can make it more difficult to see, um, to, to really adjust your bids, um, it, uh, and really see where the performance uh, is doing best within your account. Um, it can be quite cumbersome having very many ad groups. So there are disadvantages to using this structure. Um, and, but next, I'm going to show you how to set up this structure um, if this is something that you would like to use. So to quickly and easily set up the single keyword ad group structure for a new campaign, I'm going to be using Google Ads Editor. So it's important to download this tool. It's free to use. Um, it's easy to set up. Um, so download that tool to begin with. Um, and once you've done that, uh, you want to also set up either uh, an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Sheet with your selected keywords for your new campaign within that sheet. Um, and what you should also do is add these columns. So you want to have, of course, a keyword column. And then to the left of that, you want 
uh, an ad group column, a campaign column, and then to the right of the keyword column, you want max cost per click. So that's going to, of course, define the bid that we're going to be setting for these keywords. And then also we can add the ads that we're going to be adding for these keywords. So you can have a column for headline one, headline two, headline three, description line one, description line two, path one, path two, and final URL. So to start with, we're going to enter a campaign name. So we're just going to put, this is an example campaign for a solicitors. So we're just going to put solicitors London. So that's going to be the campaign name. And because we're creating SCAGs, single keyword ad groups, each of these uh, ad groups can have the name of the keyword, which is very simple to do. So you just type in this formula. So equals proper and then C2. So it's going to take the keyword from the adjacent cell and it's going to put it with a first letter as capital. Uh, so that's quick and easy to do. Um, and we also, I just um, have realized we also need to put in the match type. So we're gonna put um, the match type, but when we're importing into AdWord, Google Ads editor, we're gonna put criterion type. So that's the, um, the column heading that we need to use criterion type. And just for the sake of uh, this example, we're gonna put exact. And we could also add this to the ad group name. So we could have equals proper C2. And we can take by using a quote um, D2. And uh, so we're going to put a quote and then a space and then a dash. And again, so we're going to put the end again and then D2. So what's that, what that's done is it's taken the match type. So then if we create additional ad groups and we use a different match type like phrase match or broad match modified, then we will have that entered into the ad group. So we've got a different ad group name and it's specifying the keyword and the match type of the keyword. For bid, you can also add what you'd like your bid to be, or just for the sake of this argument, we'll just put the same bid for each of the keywords. Um, and you can also define your ad copy and import that when you're importing um, you can import that along with the keywords and the ad groups. So I'm just going to fill out the ad copy quickly and then we'll begin importing these into the campaign. So I've entered the ad copy to be used and I've entered the headlines uh, two and three and the descriptions and the pass and the final URL. So what we can do is we could, for the sake of argument, um, use the same text for these aspects of the ads or you can edit them to be the descriptions to be specific to each individual individual keyword um, now a handy thing you can do with the headline one is insert the keyword directly if it fits into the headline one um, and then adjust the keyword to make sure it fits into the 30 character limit. So we're going to do that um, using the same formula we used previously. So we're going to uh, put the formula equals proper and then C2. And what that's going to do is it's going to put the keyword into the headline one. And then we're also going to quickly in the column, we're going to create a new column next to headline one. And we're going to insert a new formula. And this is len, L-E-N. And we're going to put F2. So we're taking our headline. And what we're doing with this formula is we're counting the characters. Um, so that we can see 
if any of these headlines are going to be over the character limit. So we can see that this one, let's see, this one is over the character limit. So is this one. So we can make adjustments. So personal injury solicitors London. So really what we want to do is shorten these headlines uh, that are over the character limit. So I'm just going to copy these headlines, right click, and then paste special. And we're going to do values. We're going to select values and click OK. And so what that's done is it's removed the formula and it's pasted the output. So now we can begin to edit these cells. So to shorten them, we can just remove a word to make sure that they all will fit into the character limit. And for some of these keywords, it's important to note that we may not want to use the exact keyword. We might want to bid on the keyword without using that exact keyword within our ad copy. So for example, top law firms in London. Now we want somebody typing in that keyword to see an ad from us, but we don't want to put in the ad top law firms in London because that doesn't really make sense for a business to have that within its ad. So you could, for example, change it to uh, something like top law firm in London, but you might not want to do that either because that is quite a grand statement to be making top law firm in London. Um, so what you might want to do is just remove the word top and we're saying um, law firm in London, or we could have uh, London law firm. We could even say that that might um, sound even better. So London law firm. And because we're using uh, the same words, maybe in a different order, but we're using the same words, we're still going to be increasing our click through rates because that person who sees that ad is going to resonate with them because it's using the same language they were using and it can also help improve our ad relevance and therefore improve our quality score. Um, so we want to make those adjustments to our headlines and what we've got here is we've got everything we need to import our keywords and our ads into our campaign, um, into our Google Ads account. So you can literally just click control A to highlight everything, control C, and then open up Google Ads Editor in order to import these into your account. Um, navigate over into the left menu to keywords, and then you're gonna click make multiple changes in the top bar. And you're gonna select my data includes columns for campaigns and or ad groups because we have the data for that and then you're going to click control v and paste in our, all of the data from our sheet and click process and so we can see here what that's done is it's created the campaign it's created the 25 ad groups and created the keywords that we want within those ad groups um, now what we also want to do is make sure our ad groups have bids so click keep in the top menu. So we want to keep these changes that we've made. We're going to go to ad groups. We're going to highlight all of these ad groups and you're just going to put in the default bid. Um, and that's going to be done. Now we also want to import the ad copy. So we've already um, highlighted all of the data here. So now we're going to close that and we're going to go to the ads section. So these are expanded text ads. Uh, you can do the same thing with responsive search ads if you use the columns associated with those as well. But for this purpose, we're just going to import the expanded text ads. So again, um, we click make multiple changes. My data includes columns for the campaigns and or ad groups. Um, and you're just going to go ahead and import, uh, paste the data here and again, click process. And that's created the 25 ads that we just set up from our sheet. Um, and then you can go ahead and enter all of the details for the campaign settings. Uh, so you can put in a budget, uh, you can enter all of the other details and then your campaign is ready 
to import into your account. Um, now, another great uh, little tip is that we've just imported all of the exact match versions of our keywords. Now, we could also create uh, broad match or broad match modified or phrase match versions of these um, almost instantly just by making a small change here. So we're going to change the criterion type to broad. And because of the formula we used, you can see that the ad group name has changed to broad. So if we import this now, we will be importing broad match keywords and we will be importing um, we will be importing new ad groups. So we can go ahead and do that now. Um, and you could do that for phrase as well. Um, but then the crucial thing is once you have all of those um, keywords imported into your campaign, you just need to highlight them and change the match type. Um, another nifty way we can do that is to highlight um, the ad groups and we can go ahead and paste them. So we're just going to highlight all of these ad groups and paste them. Um, and now we've got the exact same ad groups, so we can begin editing the these ad groups to make them either broad match modified or phrase match. So what we're going to do is we're going to click replace text. So we've, we've still got the new ad groups we just pasted highlighted. So what we're going to do is replace exact in the ad group name with BMM, broad match modified. So we'll go, go ahead and replace that. So now these are going to be our broad match modified versions of each of the keywords. Um, now we want to highlight and edit the keywords within those ad groups. So we just go in the search function in the top left and we're going to type in BMM. Now we're just filtering for all of the BMM ad groups. And now we navigate over to keywords and we're going to highlight all of these keywords and we're going to change the match type to broad. So now these keywords are broad and there's just one more step we have to take in order to make them broad match modified. So we're going to click on replace text and here we're going to enter a space. So what we're looking for is a space between those keywords and we re replace the space with a space plus a plus sign. So a space and a plus plus sign and we're going to click replace. So that's added a plus sign to all of the words in the keyword except the first word. And then to add a keyword, a, a plus sign to the first word, we're going to click append text before existing text. And we're going to add a plus sign before the text in the keyword, click append. And what we've got here is all of our keywords now changed to broad match modified. So we've got all of those keywords that we've added in and we've got a broad match modified version and an exact version. And we've got the, um, we've got the ads that we've selected, uh, that we've created and they're in both versions of the ad group. Um, so that is a very, very quick and easy way to set up a campaign with the SCAG, the single keyword ad group structure, um, and get all of the benefits from that structure and import it into your account and begin serving ads. So I hope this video has been very informative and useful for you. Um, if it has, feel free to subscribe to this channel for additional tips on how to set up and manage your marketing campaigns. Um, and if you'd like to get in touch with a specialist to help you with your campaigns, then you can contact us at contact at optimizelab.com. Thank you for watching.